What's up Rebels, what's up Pride crew? Doug here, Pride Conditioning. Been missing out on some Technique Tuesday videos as far as lifting technique. So today is gonna to be a different kind of technique video. Today is not technique on the Concept 2 rower, it is maintenance of your Concept 2 rower. So this is something that every single gym owner needs to take care of and haven't seen any videos out, maybe there is, maybe I didn't search for them, but today I'm gonna to do a video on taking your Concept 2 rower apart, cleaning it, oiling it correctly, and getting that thing nice and smooth, nice and fast. So, clean your Concept 2 rower, here we go. All right guys, so you're gonna need a few things for this. Uh, you don't necessarily need a drill. You can do this with a screwdriver, so if you don't have a drill, it's perfectly fine. Uh, and this is actually not a drill, this is an impact gun, and I would not recommend using an actual drill. So you'll need something to take these screws out with. Uh, you'll need WD-40. This is gonna be to clean part of the inside. And you'll need three-in-one oil. This is going to clean your bearing and you're going to oil your chain. So three in one oil. This should come with your Concept 2 rower. So if you threw this out, uh, you should not have thrown this out when you got your Concept 2 rower. So hopefully you still got a can of this. If not, go pick some up. You'll need paper towels. And this is a bucket with uh, water and just some diluted um, I'm actually using floor cleaner uh, that we use for the mats here in the gym. And the reason why I'm using floor cleaner is floor cleaner has a degreasing agent in it. And that's what I want to strip because when we, uh, when we oil the chain, sometimes that oil from the chain and the bearing, sometimes that oil it flies off and it gets on your screen and that oil will collect dirt. So I want a degreaser to clean this. Uh, you can use just a regular uh, disinfectant or just a regular type of general purpose cleaner, but this cleaner that I'm using has a little bit of degreaser in it. Now, we'll make this very clear and I'll say this again. Do not use the degreaser cleaner when you clean out the inside of this. And I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna talk about. So, step one, we need to take this apart. So this is very simple and we are going to start with, you wanna look for, ah, so right here is a screw and you're gonna undo this. And if you put your finger on the back side, you'll keep that, the knot from falling out. So, that's out. And what I do is, take my screws and I put them on the back side of the rower. There's a little uh, bump out there for the chain. So I put all of those right there. So now we're going to, now if you're just cleaning the screen and you're not cleaning the bearing inside here on the flywheel, if you're just gonna clean the screen, I'll show you how to take the screen out without taking this off. So uh, you don't have to take the cover off just to clean the screen. So very simple. All we're gonna do is put both hands on it and you rotate it and you'll see this come up. And then you're just gonna, if you put a hand on the back and you put pressure against it to get the whole thing to spin and then you pull out on this. There goes the nut dropped on the floor, but I got it. So, what you're gonna see on here, all right, is all of this dust. And even though it doesn't seem like much, all of that little dust is blocking this screen. And you're gonna see how much, well, look, a bunch of this more fell out. So, that right there, that is preventing you from hitting PRs on your row. So clean this thing and you can row faster. 
I mean, you want to row faster, right? So, I'm going to get this out of the way and move our stuff over a little bit. Oh, other thing you need. Make sure you have coffee. Very important. So, got my cleaner rag. All right, all I'm going to do, what I do is I basically go from the halfway point and I start pushing this towards the end. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to push towards the other end. And this will push everything out. And you'll see it'll all kind of ball up at the end. And then you can pick it off. So pretty simple process to clean this thing. And then we just take it and flip it over. Flip my rag over, clean side, push this all towards the end. So this rower was not that dirty, but uh, the first one that I cleaned, not on video, was absolutely filthy. And that one was filled with dirt. And then if we take it over, you'll see there's a a little bit of stuff that got pushed through. So you want to clean the other side. And then flip this over. And we'll get this side. Sweet. So that's clean. Uh, now, I'll show you guys how to put this back in uh, without uh, you're going to have to put this back. If you take the flywheel cover off, you can't put that screen back on yet. You got to have this on to put the screen back in. So I'll show you that after I take this apart. So, uh, very simple. Take these apart. Super simple. It's just four screws. Don't be scared. This thing uh, is not going to fall apart if you take this cover off. All right. So just pull that straight out, and then we put this down. Now uh, I have before uh, put my flywheel into some water and wash that that way. Uh, these aren't that dirty right now, so I don't really need to clean it. But what we need to clean is this inside of here. So this dirt, and you can see that right here, there's like, a, it's a pattern from these four holes. What happened was, what had happened was, when we were oiling the chain, we pulled that what I normally do to oil the chains is I do it while uh, people are doing a warm up. So while they're pulling the chain in and out, that's when I oil it. Well, if you put a little too much oil on there, the oil comes inside and then it goes through these holes and it sprays out. Now, oil, while oil helps keep things moving, oil also attracts dirt. It sticks to it. So you can see right there where we've had that oil spray and now the dirt has been attracted to there. All right, so this is where your WD-40 comes in. And like I said, this is not where you wanna use the rag with the degreaser, okay? Don't use that on here because if any of the water drips down and gets into this bearing, um, it's not like it's gonna ruin it. It's not like we dipped the thing in the ocean but you don't want any water on that bearing, okay? We wanna keep that bearing as lubed up and greased up as possible. So, we are going to clean this with the WD-40. Um, and you can spray it on. I like to keep it nice and controlled. So, just spray it on the paper towel. And now, 
we can clean this. And when you see what comes out of this, you're gonna be uh, disgusted, to say the least. Um, it's usually pretty nasty. So, and then we get the middle because this is where the dirt really gets attracted to. All right, so that is what just came out of there. Um, and this right here is preventing you from hitting a PR, all right? So get this nice and clean. Uh, if you spin this back uh, counterclockwise, it's easy to spin. Um, just don't stick your fingers in there because these edges are super sharp. They're not really meant to be handled. So it's not like Concept 2 has this thing produced so that uh, you can touch it while it's moving. So while it's moving, uh, don't touch it. Pretty simple. Um, we want to get these, these little dust particles out of here. So I'll spin it. All right, so while this is spinning, I'm actually going to go in and clean this a little bit more while it's spinning. It just makes it easier to clean. There goes another one of those nuts. It's all right, I'll get it. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that I get a little bit on the edge. And you wanna kind of fold this into a point. There goes another nut. And if you get this point right in on that bearing, you can get a lot of grime See just that little bit of dust and dirt and grime. Um, over time, it just kind of soaks in. Special appearance by Smelly Alley. So get that edge of that in there and that'll get super clean on that bearing. And that is beautiful. So now, as that is moving, what I'm gonna do, grab another paper towel. While this is moving, what we wanna do is just put our oil right onto that bearing and keep your paper towel underneath it so that none of that oil, now you've got the flywheel cover open, the flywheel's moving. If you dump oil on there too much, and it drops down onto the flywheel while it's moving. Now the flywheel's gonna spray the oil out all over your gym, all right? So now we can fold the corner of that and get it in there again. I like to just keep these super, super clean. And now I'm gonna show you the next trick. Now, unfortunately, what you're gonna have to do is make sure that you find all your all your nuts that have fallen. Make sure you keep those. And if you are keeping some of them on the back, you wanna grab those. Because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fold the rower down onto the floor. So the reason why I'm gonna do this is so that the oil, gravity will take the oil down into that bearing. So now I'm going to get a few drops of oil into that bearing while it is moving. And while it's down like this, if we keep it up, the, the oil never really goes into the bearing. So if we set it down on the floor, this is how we can really get this oil down into that bearing. And then any excess oil that's sitting on top, all right, we just wanna get this with the rag, with your paper towel. And then just a couple drops more. Keep this sucker moving. Get any little excess. What we got? And that's it. Simple, simple. 
All right, we can stop that flywheel so we don't get our fingers stuck in it. Pick our rower back up, and that thing is slick. So let's get our damper cover back on. Uh, make sure your holes are lined up. Simple, simple. So now the trick is uh, we just need to get your nuts. They, they have a stop on the back. So all you gotta do is get one of them. If you just hold your finger on the back, it'll hold that nut in place. And then we can tighten that up. Uh, and I am. I am missing one, so hopefully I'll find it here in a couple of seconds. So super simple. Just get all these back in, and then I'll show you guys how to get that cover back in. It's a little, be a little pain in the butt. You don't have to get these like mega hella tight, all right? So don't wrench them down. It's actually better if you do this by hand uh, with, a, with a screwdriver by hand, but I've done this enough times that I know not to over tighten them. This one does not want to thread on. There we go. And just found no, they're not. It was hiding. So now I'll show you guys how to get this back in. So we want to make sure that this is facing the right way. Basically, uh, there's a notch in this. And we want that notch to be... We want that notch to be facing down. All right. So this notch right here, not the one that goes all the way through. The one that goes all the way through, you want on the up. So what we're gonna do is, you start with the up, and we're gonna feed this all the way around. So super simple. Now, if you didn't take this cover off to clean that bearing, then all you gotta do, pull this out, clean it, put it back. So just get it through here, and then, Get the bottom, and if you grab this and push it through, and then you can grab the other side, and you want to feed it through. Now, concept two uh, puts these from the factory all the way down here at this uh, crossover this point where this, where this bolt is, you can put it through here. Uh, some of my rowers are, and sometimes I remember to do it right, and sometimes I, I don't. So uh, if you put your hand on the back side or the top, you can push it and then get it into place. So we want it right there, and then not and screw. And if you just take your finger, You can get this nut into the bottom of that slot. It takes a little bit of practice. Once you get it, you'll get it. And that is it, aside from oiling the chain. And like I said, when we oil the chain, what we usually do is have somebody on the rower. So it's a two person effort. You have somebody pull on the rower slowly and on their, on their downstroke, you just get a few drops of oil on the chain and that's it. So there is your Jim 
maintenance video for the week cleaning your Concept2 rower and this thing will spin as fast as it did when it came from the factory. And that is it guys, on to PRs, faster rowing. Thanks for watching, share, like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. Peace.